Hey there ladies and gentlemen, I'm BWilly1001 and thank you for joining me today on uh, another instructional video on how to record gameplay. Alright, so you've seen loads of people on YouTube and things like that and you're wondering how they record their footage. Now, there are expensive um, recording uh, software, there is expensive recording software out there like uh, DX Tori, uh, Fraps, things like that which will allow you to record your, um, <coughs> record your games. But, um, uh, especially with Fraps, where you've got it at full 1080p, you will find a massive frame drop. So, I use MSI Afterburner. It's completely free. All you've got to do is go to Google, uh, click, uh, just type in MSI Afterburner, and off you go. Um, click on the download MSI Afterburner. It's only a small file. It'll be downloaded within a couple of seconds. Download it, install it, and then install MSI Combustor. And then run it, um, and uh, this is what will happen. It will come up like this. Uh, just go into settings. Um, I would recommend for anybody running stock fan cooling, I'd recommend them to enable user-defined and get a decent cooling um, fan setup, a fan speed setup, because stock cooling on the GPUs nowadays is redonkulous. Uh, start with Windows, start minimized, and go over to video capture. Uh, set your video capture key. I've set mine to F9 because it's just there. It's out of the way. I'm not going to spam it by accident. Uh, video recording format, MG, MJPG compression. And you want to set it to about 83% quality. I've got mine at 93% quality because I've got high-end graphics card. It's going to be able to handle it. If you haven't got a high-end, I'm talking about uh, GTX uh, 680, 690, uh, 780, um, uh, even the 770 might be all right. Uh, you want to record at about 83% quality. Uh, if you're going for AMD, you want the 7950, 7970, or the 7990. Um, uh, then with the 93% or 83% compression uh, quality, then frame size go 720p, uh, 10, uh, 900p, or uh, 1080p. At 1080p, you want to go a little bit lower than 83, but I, I record at 1080p at 93% quality. I don't find there's much of a frame rate drop. I only lose about 5 to uh, 10 frames, so it's not bad at all. Uh, set your frame rate. So I record at 41 frames per second. I play most games at about 60, 70, so I record at 41 frames per second. Uh, that means that there's not much of a screen tear or uh, softening while I'm rendering the videos. Frame rate limit is 82 frames per second. That's the maximum it's going to run at if um, if it's going to ever get that way. Set your videos folder, you browse, and then set it to that. That's where it's going to record your files to. Um, and then uh, scroll down here. If you you want to set your audio recording device, then uh, WhatsApp playback device, and then set it to your speaker channel. Uh, I've got quite a few. I don't know why it's got that many. It's because I've got. Uh, sorry, I do it. It's because I've got it running through um, HD Display Port. Uh, I've got uh, 7.1 surround sound on motherboard. Then I've got audio through my t monitor. Then I've got yeah. It's uh, and then I've got front audio speakers, etc. So um, set your speakers, uh, and then if you want to record voice, then set your capture device to your um, to your recording device. Uh, then down mix your multi-channel audio to stereo and then it'll stereo rip um, and then mix multiple audio channels and it'll um, it should give you better quality audio for when you're recording uh, that should be everything also set it to auto and apply and that should be MSI off and running on its own nothing to worry about there right so you've um, so you've got your recording software, but you need to edit your videos. You've, you've got loads of footage, but you need something to edit it. So for another free um, piece of editing software, Serif Movie Plus Starter Edition. All you've got to do is Google Serif Movie Plus free. Uh, go to the serif.com website. Click download free now. Register it, and um, they'll send you the key code. It's completely free. Um, the only thing you'll have to purchase, if you're going to purchase anything, is Codex. But fortunately, um, it does run uh, quite a few of the um, um, file types that you're going to be using anyway. 
Um, so here's one that I'm working on at the minute. You may recognize it from a little minute ago. So um, basically all you do is you um, go import media, import what you're going to be importing. Uh, so I'm going to put in a, um, what should I put in? If I go uh, screenshots, uh, put in a picture here of um, Crisis 3 that I've uh, I have got lying around. You can insert that. Uh, it's the same for videos, you can insert it as a video track. So put that wherever you're wanting it. Uh, so like even if it was a video you can do the same thing. Go to transform, uh, change the size of the file that you're wanting. So I can put that up there and it'll oh, be there in the video. While I'm rendering the video. It'll be there in the video and um, it'll look very clear, it'll render it, it'll be very crisp. Uh, just like most of my other videos, um, like uh, this one for example, where I've got a video up in the top left, um, and you can see it quite clearly. Um, brilliant piece of editing software, not that steep a learning curve. Um, oh, sorry, wrong one. <laughs> Oops! So yeah, br not that steep a learning curve, uh, quite easy drag and drop sit features, uh, you can uh, delete what you're wanting, uh, what you don't want, uh, you can also uh, say split your um, split your video so you can drag and move it about and edit it that way, uh, you can also undo previous steps. Uh, you then export your file, um, choose your how you want it rendered you can also customize it for custom file sizes and uh, export it um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoy making videos uh, I look forward to seeing them don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment and I'll see you guys in the next one